Well, good afternoon. I've actually managed to get out for a walk on my own and I'm walking from our accommodation down to the seafront. I actually managed to get my vlog up for tomorrow, so good. So that's given me a bit of free time now. I didn't think I was going to get down to explore properly, but I am now, so that's good. Oh, wow. I can see some ruins coming into view in the distance there. I see the sea up ahead. Oh, that's where we did our gig last night. Well, look at that. I wonder what that is over there. Looks like ruins slash castle. I can hear the waves crashing. I love that instant soothing feeling. There's a bus coming. Oh, how nice. I'm going to have a little walk along the promenade, I think, since I have found one to walk along. I think I'm going to sort my socks out because, look, I've got these trousers on that I need to hem. <laughs> I'm going to tuck them into my socks and then go down on the beach. And I don't care what it looks like. It's better than having sandy sogginess where you don't want it. Yeah. I'm intrigued by that over there. With loads of birdie footprints in the sand, look. We've got children jumping in the water here. They're just um, about to come swimming past, actually. That's what that splashing is. I've never been very daredevil when it comes to that sort of thing. Then they're climbing up these steps to get out again. Very steep, aren't they? Those kids are all being hosed off actually by, I don't know if it's the RNLI, there's like a tent there. Hang on, over there, that's where it's laughing. I think they've been supervised, those kids weren't uh, unattended by adults, had adults with them. Look at these boats here with the dragon's heads on, they're kind of fun, aren't they? I'm gonna go over this bridge now. A little bit of a breeze has come up, ruffling my hair about a bit. Oh, some kind of sluice gate, is that what you call that? It's pretty uh, yellowy. Oh wow, eh? I haven't seen anything that looks quite like that before. Look at the colour of it. Good gracious. I wonder why it's that colour. There's a special bin for plastic bottles here. Look, in the shape of a dolphin. For recycling, I don't doubt. How do they open it then? <laughs> it's a special initiative to encourage people to pick these up if they see them and then feed them to the dolphin. This dolphin, obviously. Isn't that right? Anyway, onwards. Let's go and have a look at this. Wind. I'm climbing up here. Oh, there's another beach run there, look. I've seen quite a few children in wetsuits and swimming caps with swim safe written on their swimming caps. Oh, there's a little bit of wind. I uh, hope you're not getting a load of wind noise. This is where I've just come from. It's quite nice up here. I feel kind of elevated. Oh my gosh, I think it's all shells mounted up there. Do you see? Up in the corner. It's like a sandy beach. Sandy beach, but with lots of shells. That is interesting. I wonder if I can get down and get a closer look. Well, that is a castle, look. That 
that is all shells. Oh my goodness me, some whole ones down there as well. I wasn't sure how solid that was going to be. I didn't know if I was going to do a great big slide. Oh, this is extraordinary. I have literally never been on a terrain quite like this before. Yeah, I don't suppose I can get in that castle without paying, and I really haven't got enough time to justify paying an entrance fee, but I'll go and have a look anyway, see what it's all about. Oh, this is really fun. I'm enjoying this little walk. It's really, yeah, very stimulating because it's so very different from what I'm used to back home. It's such a shame the weather was so atrocious yesterday. I'm kind of regretting I didn't just get completely kitted out in a raincoat and umbrella and just come out anyway. I'm kind of feeling like I should have done that. But you know what it's like when it's the first day of your stay anyway? You think, oh, I got loads of time later in the week. And then you look at your schedule and you think, actually, I haven't got that much time. I um, don't know if that's an entrance. I'm going to go up it anyway. For anybody that doesn't know, probably almost everybody watching this does know, but that's like the symbol of the Isle of Man. It's the three legs. Might be somebody watching from somewhere in the world who doesn't know that. Oh, this doesn't really go anywhere. Look, it's, um, oh, I just got dripped on from above. No, it's just a locked door. Okay, about turn. I just found a handy map of the Isle of Man here actually. So we're staying in Peel. This is Peel Castle where we are now. And where we were earlier today, actually in the last vlog, was Douglas. And that's where I stayed last time when I visited. And that's the Laxey Wheel that I visited. So I've got a vlog of visiting that. I've got a vlog of going on the tram. So in my past playlist, I'll link that in the description of this video so you can find it easily. Uh, this is a lifeboat station here. It's a little cafe maybe, looks like, doesn't it? Phone box, where's the entrance to the castle then? What is this? Doesn't look like a main entrance, does it? It's very small and you have to duck a bit if you're tall. Oh, mind you. Hmm, sorry about the sun glare. The sun is very inconveniently positioned in the wrong place for almost all my shots today. Right, let's go this way. Left my sun hat, actually. I bought an umbrella and a jumper. Didn't think to bring the sun hat. This is a very peaceful route. It's a very noisy bumblebee flying around. Don't know if you just heard that. Well, this has turned out to be a lovely little sort of cliff top walk with the castle on your side here. It's a very different sort of landscape to what I'm used to. I really have enjoyed it. Excuse the wind noise. <laughs> there is probably a lot. I'm just rounding this very, very spectacular bend. And look how clear that water is. It's beautiful blue. <gasps> look at that view. Oh my God, this whole walk. I mean, it was worth it because it was excellent, but that's just such a lovely view isn't it i'm on such a time limit i kind of need to go back now i'm just gonna go around the bend <laughs> i think that's that shelly beach that i was on just now i think i've done a full circle so obviously this we've kind of done the extent of it anyway i still don't know how to get into the castle though well, i'm so glad i managed to get out anyway but i need to go back and reheat the dinner that i made yesterday because i made enough for two meals and then i'm getting out to a session which i'm not i'm not filming the session bit but uh yeah that's my plan. I would say that this has not been entirely suitable for wheels. There's been a few lumpy bumpy bits um, coming over like a sort of hump of rocky sort of, I don't know, unevenness. And also a few little steps here and there. Oh, that's so beautiful. <sighs> I presume I can just get down here rather than going all the way back round. I'd like to go all the way back round just because it's so lovely. And the sun will be on my back, which I prefer at a um, shorter time. So I'm just gonna go down here. This is definitely not wheelchair friendly. Oh, look at that seaweed swirling in the current. I love seeing stuff like that. All swishing around, kind of reminds me of ladies hair in the bath. Let's go 
home and have dinner then. Well, I got back really, really quickly. I actually bumped into Mick just as I was switching my camera off and we power walked up the hill back together. I've got my dinner microwaving as we speak. Hugh is happily binge watching musicals because he's found a whole box set of musicals, of DVDs here, so he's enjoying those. Why is it that colour? We were just having a comment that that colour's all wrong. There's something the matter there. Oh, Mick's going for the healthy option there. Strawberries, blueberries and a salad. Is that all you're having? I've got um, camembert. Oh, nice. Uh, and uh, salad and fruit and banana and yoghurt. Cool. There's my lovely food, steaming hot out of the microwave. Oh yes, I found some black pepper and ground that all over it. I'm looking forward to this. I just had a very pleasant time just sitting on my own, eating my dinner in the kitchen. I did a bit of Duolingo afterwards as well, just, you know, a bit of calm me time. But anyway, I'm going to get quickly changed and get ready to go out to this session now. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like if you happen to like it. Subscribe down below to watch more videos from me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!